the next property that we are talking about is is the property that says the absolute value of the difference in absolute values a, a and b is always less than or equal to the absolute value of the difference of a and b okay so mod of mod a minus mod b is less than or equal to mod a minus b let's try to understand what we exactly you know are talking about so again here i will use the notion of maximum attached to absolute values so with that notion what what do i actually mean our lhs is essentially mod mod a minus mod b okay so it is equal to it is equal to the maximum of maximum of two things what are those two things those are mod a minus mod b whatever is inside this modulus and the negative of it so mod b minus mod a so that's what is the max of this so what do i have to prove that means what do we have to prove we need to prove that max of absolute value a minus absolute value b and absolute value b minus absolute value a is less than or equal to absolute value of a minus b now so that means that it will be sufficient for me to prove so sufficient sufficient to prove what would be sufficient to prove if i could prove that each element in this max is less than or equal to a a minus b absolute value then i am done so sufficient to prove that absolute value a minus b is less than or equal to a minus b an absolute value b minus absolute value a is less than or equal to a minus b so that's what we have to prove now how to go about it how to go about it so let me call this 1 and let me call this 2 now 1 is equivalent to saying that mod a is less than or equal to mod b plus mod a minus b absolute value a minus b okay so i i've just taken b to the rhs right so this is same as this is same as saying that absolute value inside this absolute value what i can do is i can add and subtract b i can just add and subtract b and this will be less than or equal to plus absolute value b plus absolute value a minus b and which is true which is true by which is true by triangular inequality triangle inequality now what in in that sense what we have done we have taken a minus 1 as one real number and b as another real number and just applied the triangle inequality and this will hold now in the second case in the second case in the second case also the same sort of thing would happen in the second case also the same thing would happens and 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 what we can do is we can keep mod b out here and see what happens to the rhs 
okay so what we'll do we'll just take a this side this time and again add and subtract add and subtract a and due to triangle inequality this thing will still hold